Welcome back to the memes. That's Frank. I'm not the expert, and today we're playing some more Blitz the League 2. I had fun with this game last time, so if you guys want to see it some more, make sure to get it to 10,000 likes and I'll do it again. We actually still have $175,000, so I'm going to put that to use, and instead of juicing our players this week, I'm going to continue upgrading the training equipment. Injury resistance and tackling, the two biggest features of this game. Oh, Scranton must win by more than 22 points in this game to win the bet? I don't know if we should bet a lot. That's a huge margin of victory. Yeah, but we're still going to bet some money. 5000 it is. All right, listen up. Let's focus on the task at hand. The Baltimore Bearcats. The best player they got is running back Quasi Umbutabe. He's a warrior and the spearhead of the Bearcat offense. There's only one man to fear, so defend the spear attack by aiming for him. Quasi's taken a lot of pounding, but he's still as sharp and lethal as ever. Yeah, we're going to focus all on getting Frank the ball because he's the champ. Wide open. Look at these amazing catches. And he's going to be gone on the first play. Hell yeah. Look at that. Too easy. Oh, swatted down. And he's still going to make the catch. Look at Frank go. Oh, oh. We're going straight for that kneecap. Oh, we're getting these brutal injuries early. That one was gnarly. Just sprained it. But it, it sounds like you can just slam it even harder. Smacking that X button. And we got that late hit there too. I love this game so much. It is just over the top nonsense. Frank's coming for you. Oh yeah. Come on, go for that back. Got their best player injured right here. That's the ribs. Look at our rep going up after entering the team captain. All right, they're running backs back in the game after breaking his freaking ribs. Fumble! Go Dupree, taking it all the way. Oh, he, he missed. Crushing him here early. He's throwing it over there. Try to go for the pick, that's a mistake. There we go, Frank got it again. Oh, still trying to go for these picks. This looks like it's going to be another injury. We got Frank with a brutal one. Oh, we're tag teaming him. Oh, this man's shoulder blade just exploded. Nail him. Frank's coming at him. Oh, oh, he's still going. No way. Right before half, we messed it up again. We did the exact same thing last game. Uh, running back, he's going to break that tackle. That, yep. Ooh. Busted something. Broken humorous. He's going to be gone for a while. Oh, gosh. We got to reset his bone. Oh, did we get it? 2%. I think we made it worse. In the backfield. Roughing him up. We got no safety back, though. In the end zone. He's going to score, but we're going to nail him. Just out of anger. Dude, what the hell kind of route were you running there? I love that everybody's always roasting each other in this game. No one catches a break. <laughs> Dude! We got his bell rung! We need to go out of bounds next time. They're going to take the lead here in the third. And we got to beat them by three scores. That's not happening. We're losing that bet. That first game was just a tune-up. This one, we're actually going to get wrecked. Oh, he missed it. It outside. Got him. He's got a little it. running back touchdown. Okay, we're definitely not going to get a 22-point win, but now we have to try and not lose the game in general. Good tackle. He's throwing it. No way. Oh, it's he threw it back to the quarterback. He is wide open. Look at that sidearm toss. And we are gone. Oof, it's so hard to intercept those. I guess you got to hit the receiver first. Oh, and he's going to dance with our cheerleader. Get out of here. Well, we beat him, but we lost the bet. Wait, franchise didn't get 200 yards. We failed that too. Bruh. We won the game, but we did not accomplish our goals. Oh, we still got $250,000, so I guess it's not all that bad. You're going to go play with that new hotshot franchise. Why the fuck would I want to play there? His team's in Division three. Because I happen to know that the Nightmare is going to cut you at the end of this season. Along with that big contract of yours. That's why they traded up to draft Max Carson. You might get picked up by another team. For a fraction of your current salary. Or you can go play with Franchise. And keep your deal as is. What's in it for you? This guy is sneaky. A real dirtbag. Hey there, it's Kim. What happened out there Sunday? 
Let's meet for drinks this evening and discuss our options. At first, I was going to be like, why are you disappointed? We were six yards away from 200 yards. But then she's like, let's get a drink tonight. And I'm like, I dig that. <laughs> At the clubs. Mm, dial. Have time to talk a little business? I need you to give me Yeah, I'm not doing it in the background just by himself. Get it done on the field, hotshot. And perhaps we can celebrate afterwards. I dig that. Franchise must get at least one sack to hit the sack. What a mission. I love it. So we're now adding Quentin Sands, which is basically just Lawrence Taylor in the video game. B overall. Yeah, he's going to crush some people. But we got to get Franchise a sack. Scranton must win by more than two points to win this bet. I'm definitely going to throw the cash on this one. The Houston Rioters have been the Division Three punching bag since they joined the league three years ago. That might be changing this year since they drafted running back Donnell Sullivan in the first round. The guy's got an effective one-two punch. His wicked burst of speed followed by his stiff arm jab. And he ain't afraid to hit below the belt. So if we want to shut down Houston, we need to knock out Sullivan. All we're worried about is winning this game by two and getting that sack for franchise so we can hit the sack. There we go. Mims with a nice juke. Opening kickoff touchdown. In the backfield. And we're hitting him again. Oh, just shoving his head into the dirt. Come on, they got to throw, right? Intercepted at the line. Even better. That was a hell of a play from Frank. Just hit him again. Why not? What the hell was that all about? I'm not even an important player. Heck yeah. Fumble. Oh, Frank's got it again. This man's a beast. Ooh, one-handed in the corner of the end zone. Putting on a show. Late hit. Beat him up again. It's even more goofy because dude's wearing a helmet. Like, wouldn't that really hurt your knee? Oh, almost picked it off again. He lets it fly. Dude's open. What a throw from the running back. He's out of energy, but he is gone. Nut shot. <laughs> what a touchdown celebration. Heaves it deep, and it's caught. Full line, touchdown. Fumble, Scranton. Oh, my God. Dude, we're forcing so many turnovers, I'm not going to be able to get this sack. Outside. Got him. Another one. Ooh. They fumbled it again, bro. This is too easy. Like, come on. They are actually terrible. Intercepted again. If this isn't enough for this lady, I don't know what will be. Come on. Throw the football. Oh, no. We hit him. Franchise has got to get it, though. He scrambled out. Okay, that was our best chance yet. Oh, we got... No, wait. My dude broke his foot. Oh! That is a blown-up ankle. Fine. Go ahead and score. I don't even care. I like that celebration, though. That's hilarious. 300 receiving yards. This guy's insane. Come on. See, like, it's so hard to tackle the quarterback when he's behind the line. But we're going to definitely injure this dude. We forced another fumble. That's it. I got to punt it back to him. Oh, no, wait. Frank, what are you doing? Quit taunting him. Come on, call timeout. Call timeout. Four seconds. It's our last chance. I'm on the hunt. He throws it out like there's nothing I can do if he's going to throw it this early. That's ball game. We failed. Franchise out here. 303 receiving yards, six touchdowns, and this lady's not going to care. I must be losing my touch. I saw a lot of potential in you, Franchise. But if you didn't measure up on the field, how are you going to measure up in... Ha, <sighs> well, good luck. Bruh, we have not gotten a girlfriend in this game yet, but I have a feeling there's going to be plenty more opportunities for that later. If you're like Frank and you're struggling with your sack game, you need to hear from our sponsor, Manscaped.com. They want me to tell you about their famous, world-renowned Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. When you go out, things get a little bit stressful, or it's summer, it's real hot, things get sweaty, everything gets musty and gross. Best way to get rid of your musty nutsack is definitely going to manscaped.com and picking up some Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. And while you're at manscaped.com, make sure to pick up the Lawnmower 3.0 as well. I highly recommend it. You can get 20% off your purchase when you use my link in the description below. You'll get 20% off and free international shipping. 
Once again, that's 20% off and free international shipping when you use the link in the description below. Thanks again to Manscaped.com for sponsoring this video. I've been enjoying this game so far. It is ridiculous and over the top, but that's what makes it fun. But that's it for this one. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're a legend to my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.